So I'm starting off this video, I'm making Alan a Steakum sandwich. I had never heard of Steakum before, but Alan just introduced me to it and I actually really like it. It's basically these frozen raw thin slices of steak that you use for sandwiches. So I'm gonna put a little olive oil in my pan here just to protect the pan from the meat. And then I'm going to break apart these frozen meats and put them in my frying pan. It's kind of strange, but it's kind of cool at the same time. And they actually don't take that long to cook. As you can see, it's only been a few minutes and I'm just pushing it around in the pan to get it going faster. Now I'm gonna season the meat with some garlic powder and onion powder. I think these sandwiches would be really good on some French bread with some onions and bell peppers, but Alan just wanted it plain with cheese. And he requested two slices of American cheese per sandwich, but I would have picked provolone or Swiss, but that's just me. So now that the cheese is all melted, I'm gonna put it up on this Italian bread that Alan likes. Oh, well first I gotta put a little mustard in. He requested mustard, but I would have preferred ketchup or mayonnaise or something, you know. So here it is. Just putting a little meat on the bread and makes a pretty good little sandwich. You guys should try it. If you've never tried Steakums, I recommend it. It's pretty tasty. Voila, there you go. Alan's gonna add some of these chips to his plate and then we're gonna review these new Lay's flavors. Yay! Hey y'all, it's me Charity here at Lady Cooking Luck. And today me and Alan is going to be doing a taste test for the new Lay's chips. We have crispy taco and we also have everything bagel with cream cheese, which is actually one of Alan's favorite things to eat. The everything bagel with cream cheese, not the chips, because these are new. They also had another flavor, which was fried green tomatoes, which I really wanted, but I figured I didn't need three bags of potato chips. So today we're gonna be doing a taste test on the crispy taco and the everything bagel, and we're gonna let you know what we think about it. So the first one we're gonna try is the kettle cooked everything bagel with cream cheese. They smell good and they look really fun. What are those? Poppy seeds. They have poppy seeds on them. A lot of poppy seeds. They taste like another chip I've had before. Almost on the lines of a baked barbecue. Or is that just me? But they're really good. But it still reminds me of a baked barbecue. Does it you? Maybe because it was kettle cooked. I'm getting a little bit of the everything bagel now. Especially with the poppy seed. So do you like that one? It's pretty good. Does it remind you of the barbecue? No. No? Just kettle cookness. Kettle cookness. Okay, so now we're going to try the crispy taco flavored. That taco looks really good. It smells really strong. Like taco-ish. Oh, shoot. Wow. Good. Yeah. What do you think about it? It's like a jack-in-the-box taco. It reminded me of something that must be what it is. A lot more saltier than the everything bagel, though. But, pretty good. They're both really good, actually. Which one did you like better? Um, I think I like the uh, everything bagel a little better. But it'll depend what kind of mood I'm in to eat, which one I would prefer. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, the chick that did the tacos from San Antonio, Texas. Hey girl, hi. Okay, thanks for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you later, bye. bye.